What I want to share with you in this video are the five most important manifestation shortcuts. Genuinely from a place of, I'd like to see you thrive and succeed also. As far as I'm concerned, there's no difference between us. We're the same, you and I, and your success is my success. So some of these you may have heard before, but I'm gonna talk about it a little bit differently. The first thing, and one of the most important ones, is do it for someone else. There's this part of us that is like, oh, I. I want more fame, I want more money, I want more success. We're trying to validate ourselves. We're trying to get more and more for us. There is a much greater power that works through you, that comes to you, when instead of trying to accomplish some goal for you, you go to accomplish it for someone else. If you work towards accomplishing a goal for your family, if you work towards accomplishing a goal for your community, if you can genuinely do what your dream reality is, but start seeing it in terms of how can you help more people from that place? Let's say that your dream reality is in this beach house in Tahiti, all right? So what most people do is they're just thinking about the self-serving aspects of that. What I'm encouraging you to do is start thinking about, that's okay to be your goal, but start thinking about in terms of this. In that beach house in Tahiti, you'll be so much more relaxed you'll have so much more energy, you'll feel better. And from that place of feeling so much better and having all the things you need to take care of yourself, you'll have so much greater of an ability to help give back to the community, to help give back to the world, right? So instead of thinking, I just want that house in Tahiti, think about it like this. I want to create some kind of charity that really helps people. And I see myself really accomplishing a lot of that task in the beach house in Tahiti. Do you see the difference in train of thought? I do want to be honest and let you know that for this to energetically work, it needs to come genuinely from you actually caring about other people and not being so self-absorbed. And I'm not trying to be a dick. I just want to be straight up. If you're self-absorbed and you just genuinely want things for yourself, this isn't the kind of thing you can just fake caring about others and the universe will throw itself on your side. The fact of the matter is, is that for a while I was making videos because I wanted to prove to myself I could succeed. I wanted to prove that I really could create my own reality. Didn't get much results. One day I simply accepted it's okay if I don't reach lots of people and I instead shifted my frame of my vibrational reference point and what I decided is that I'm not doing this for me anymore. I'm doing it for you. Even if just one person clicks one of my videos, that's an opportunity to really connect with someone and actually engage and help them in some kind of way. I made that distinction for myself. I decided I do this for you, right? I do this for you. And it was a genuine discovery of realizing how selfish I'd been in my life up to that point. So I had a little healing moment of realizing, man, I've had my head shoved so far up my butt. And I started actually thinking about you instead. And it would blow your mind how much more power started coming through me, how much more malleable my reality became. And I've done it. I've achieved what was my goal that I set out for four years ago. So now the goal is simple, right? The goal shifts. It's to reach more, just like you, of people who are asking for help and actually be someone who's genuinely helping them. <laughs> the second most powerful thing that you could start doing today that's a shortcut for your manifestations is to accept your current situation the way that it is. This is huge, okay? Do not underestimate the power of what I'm about to share with you here. This is huge. The part of you, for example, that doesn't like your current reality, that wants everything to change so much, that part of you is not in a state of power. Because what we need to understand is that our lives right now, you and me both, it's a result of the decisions that we've made up to this point. We are not the circumstances that happen in our life. We become how we respond to the circumstances. Do you see the difference? So what we need to do to manifest our dreams is like scientifically very clear. We have to actually stand up and do things differently in our lives. If you want a different result, you have to put in different kinds of work, right? To get a different result, you need to be slightly different than how you've been up to this point. So that's the difference. Do you feel the difference in energy? The part of you that actually is in that state of power of I'm going to make changes isn't complaining about the way things are. They are accepting genuinely this is the way things are and I'm gonna make my change from right here where I sit. The third manifestation shortcut that I wanna share with you, appreciation and gratitude. I know it can be very easy to be problem oriented. A lot of people operate this way. I'll give you an example. When I was a kid, sometimes I'd get this fun idea I wanted to make my parents really happy, so I'd clean the entire house really well. I'd come home from school, I'd clean the whole house, and they'd come in and they would not notice. 
literally. They, it would completely over their head. It, to them, it didn't happen. But if I came home and didn't clean and there were messes when they came home, they'd freak out and they'd be agitated and they'd definitely notice that, all right? Now, it's not just my parents. This is a psychological fact that's been learned through the science of psychology and different practices like this, therapies. We've learned now, and there's actual research behind the fact that people are more looking for what they don't want. We're more interested on a psychological level of noticing things that we dislike than we are about noticing things that we do like. If you can stop focusing so much on the things you dislike about your current situation and focus more on things you do like, that will up your manifestations. I'm gonna give you a very simple demonstration of why this happens so that it's not just some, oh, gratitude manifests a better reality. I'm gonna show you why. It's actually very simple and practical. It's not far out there. Anyone could understand this. You ready? Let me ask you something. What does your dream life feel like? Does it feel like this? Uh, or does it feel like this? Uh, which one of those represents your dream life better? Your future dream life? This uh, or this? All right. This, right? Uh, <laughs> that represents your future dream life better. Admit it. That's the truth. All right. Now, notice this. When you're appreciating something, oh, it's such a beautiful day out. Oh, uh, I'm so upset about my work and my friends and the way things are. See how you curl inward? When you're disliking things, your energy, your physiology, your thoughts, your vibe, all of it goes like this uh, and curls inward and goes down. Your energy level goes down. When you're appreciating things and when you're noticing things you like, this is what your energy does. So how can you expect to live your dream life, which is this energy, when all you're doing is this energy. You need to match it. You need to actually be that version of you right now, right? It's that simple. So appreciate things more in your life. Be more grateful. You need to if you're gonna make any real waves in your life. And that leads us to the third manifestation shortcut. And the third manifestation shortcut is there's ups, there's downs, there's lefts, there's rights, there's summer, there's winter, there's spring, and there's fall. <laughs> things change. You know, we gotta, we gotta accept that things change. And that means on your journey to manifesting your dream life, you are going to experience challenges. Things are gonna happen that feel like a failure, you know? But the only real failure is if you get discouraged by those challenges. This is what happens to a lot of people. A roadblock falls in their path. They come up to it and they go, oh, why isn't it working? And they start walking backwards and complaining. I must be doing something wrong with my manifestation. Maybe the universe doesn't actually want me to do this, right? We start coming up with all these uh, actually neurosis, psychological, things that exist within us where we, we are basically, we're all a little bit insane. So that's insanity. A log falls in front of the trail you're walking on and you start deciding that the universe doesn't want you to walk that way or what am I doing wrong in my manifestation? If you were clear, if you could see clearly through your own neurosis, and I mean, no offense, I've got it too, you would see clearly, oh, okay. And you'd just climb up over the tree and you'd keep going or you'd walk around it, say, oh, a tree fell in my path. Okay, excuse me, tree, and you keep going. It's that simple. Challenges are gonna occur in your life. Things aren't always gonna go the way you want them to. Who succeeds is the person who keeps going. Plain and simple. So stop trying to use things that happen and the challenges that happen as evidence to support your own failure. You're not failing. It's just that congratulations, you live on planet Earth and are living a human life. You're gonna experience challenges. You need to accept that right now. You need to be willing to move towards your goal even when things don't go the way you want them to. You need to be able to want this for yourself, not based on any result. What does that mean? Okay, well, a lot of people are unconsciously doing this. I will walk towards this new manifested reality as long as no trees fall on my path. How about you be a warrior? I will walk this path even if trees fall on it, even if a storm comes, even if all these failures happen, even if my financial situation gets screwed, I will keep going. I will not 
quit. You wanna know the biggest secret to how I got here today? I kept going, plain and simple. I experienced lots of challenges, lots of failures, but the difference is, is that I didn't label them as challenges and failures. The way I saw it was more opportunity to learn how to succeed. So instead of being discouraged by the results you're getting, keep going. The real emphasis here is that a lot of people find success encourages them. The secret is that there's a version of you who's neither discouraged nor encouraged. It's a version of you who's very neutral. It's a version of you who, whether you're making less money or making more money, is completely indifferent. When they get the results, this much money or this much money less, whichever one, they have the same expression on their face. They have the same vibe. I'm keeping going, I'm keeping going. Most of us don't realize it, but we base our actions off the results we get. We're very results-based. If we're not getting results, we're discouraged. If we are, we're encouraged. There's a power that comes to the person who's not looking for results and is genuinely just doing something because they made that decision. It has nothing to do with results. It's just who they are. If you can unlock and achieve that vibrational state, there is nothing that can stop you. Seriously, you'll be one of the few on this planet right now who are walking with that kind of power behind what they're doing. Now this leads us into the fifth manifestation shortcut. You must drop your manifestation entirely, at least for a moment, to really speculate on this with me for a second. This is a very important step. You must know who you are. You've got to. Is the goal that you're walking towards even yours? How do you know? What if it's a goal that's based on societal standards or some advertisements that programmed you when you were younger or something that your parents expect of you? How do you know that your goal isn't based on, I want validation from my peer groups or I want money because it'll make me feel more safe in a world I feel afraid in? If that's the reason you're choosing a goal, you won't make it. You won't have what it takes to walk around that tree. You won't have what it takes to climb over the trees that fall on your path if that's why you've chosen this goal. So why don't you just save yourself the trouble now and go within yourself and figure out who am I really? Because if you really knew who you were and you really knew what you wanted to do with your life, then you're unstoppable. All these other things we've discovered, the previous four steps, they're all included in that. If you knew who you were, you'd be free. You'd be in a state of power unfathomable. That's the truth. For so long in my life, I pursued goals that I genuinely thought were mine and I would have defended with a sword in a battle. I believe this about myself and I see now those things had nothing to do with me. I was confused. That confusion made it take so long to figure out what is my true path. Now, I can't tell you what your true path is. You have to see that for yourself. What I discovered for me is that my path of trying to be successful, of trying to get a better financial situation, of trying to become famous, these were all weird, twisted things that seeded themselves in my goals since my childhood. Once I saw who I was, I became free of those things, and I saw who I really am. And so it's very easy for me to live my life now. There's an ease, there's a power, because I know who I am, nothing can faze me. So to know yourself, you need to be willing to set down this pursuit, first and foremost, all right? That's the best thing I can share with you in this video to keep this simple and clear for you and give you something you can actually start from on this journey of manifestation, at least the success part of it, right? It's simple. Set down the pursuit, set it down, and take some time to yourself to just, uh, just live, you know, just live your life without needing to be someone. Figure out how to just be, just be, just let life be what it is. When you're in a state of just being and allowing things to be the way they are, you get a very clear communication with yourself and you can see who you are and everything that you aren't makes itself very clear, all right? So these are the five shortcuts. Understand that you have to take responsibility in your life to actually apply these things and use them or you will get no result at all, <laughs> period. You have to take action from this place. You have to actually exercise the effort to do this or else how can you possibly expect to live your dream life? You know, I thought for a while it was all about my vibration. So I basically got a really good vibration and sat around and did nothing for months and I achieved nothing because I got what I put out. I didn't put anything out into the world. I just sat there, right? Yes, you wanna be in a powerful state, but you gotta actually do something with it. You're here on earth, you're living a human life, it's on purpose. Live it, be it, right?
Now, if you really want to dive into understanding yourself more clearly, really unlocking that knowledge of yourself, which is, in my opinion, the most powerful thing any of us could do in our lives, well, you're in luck because we got an upcoming live group event for a select few. And if you want to see how you can possibly be a part of that live transformation event, you can find information about it tagged in the description of this video. It's where I keep all my links and my services. I have classes, coaching, things like that too. So you can check that out if you feel called to. In the meantime, much love to you. And thank you for exercising some effort in your life to really be in charge of it. You know, because most people unconsciously are just going with the motions. And what that really means is they're letting the other people in their life and society, they're letting circumstances dictate who they are and who they're being and what their life looks like. The moment you realize that the wheel, the steering wheel is in your hands always, that's when you finally become in charge of your reality. And that's when you finally get to live it the way that's resonant of who you are. That's where all the power is. So again, thanks. Much love to you. And I'll see you for the next video.